Hi friends, uh, today I am going to show you how to create Mule application using Mule Studio, which means Mule Soft AnyPoint Studio. So let's go to the AnyPoint Studio. This is our AnyPoint Studio. Go to File, New, then click Mule Project. So this is the pop up window to create the new application for Mule. So you have to give project name here. I'm going to give here hello world. Then you have to make sure the mule server, the runtime environment server, the version is latest or not. Here the mule server version is 3.7.3 .3 enterprise edition. This is the latest version now for mule USB. Then click finish button. Once you created Mule project for Hello World, the Hello World resource file will be opened by default. So I'm going to create Hello World workflow. First, I'm going to search HTTP connector from palette. Simply type HTTP. This is the HTTP connector, just click and drag into your canvas. We need to configure the connector configurations. So go to this connector configurations, click plus icon. By default, host is 000, the port number is 8081, then click OK. So the path is I'm going to leave it as it is. So the allowed method is get. Click the canvas. Now I'm going to add the transformer to set the message. Search set payload transformer. So click and drop into your canvas workflow. So I'm going to set the value now. Hello world. So just to click the canvas, I want to see this output into our console also. Just search logger component, add into your flow. If you want to see the message into your console, you have to set the payload here. Set the payload, the logger component, then click the canvas then save it so I'm going to run this application go to our project and right click go to run as then go to mule application you can see the console whether your application is de deployed successfully or not yes our application is deployed successfully go to browser Type localhost then 8081. You can see the output. Hello world. Also, you can see the output in the console. Also, this console in the logger component no the message and the payload message is logged into our console. So without redeploying our applications, uh, I'm going to show you how the message is reflected. Uh, Mule USB itself, they redeployed uh, re our application, whatever we made the changes. Just click the set payload, type the message. Welcome to Mail Studio. Block. Just click the canvas, save it. Look on the console. Our application is redeploying. Yeah, our application is redeployed now. Go to the browser, reload now. You can see the output. Also, you can see output in the console also. This is our first mail application using AnyPile Studio. We have successfully created and deployed 
I have created a blog for this Mural Studio. My blog name is muralstudio.blogspot.in or .com. Here I am posting list of posts about how to install ActiveMQ in your local machine, how to configure with your mural flows, learn how to create a restful web service using Mural Studio. You can go to here and also you can see the Mules of Champions program. This is my blog. You can go to here. I will post uh, more articles in this blog. Thank you for visiting our video. Thank you. See you. Bye. Hi friends. Uh, today I am going to show you how to create Mule application using Mule Studio, which means Mule Soft AnyPine Studio. So let's go to the AnyPine Studio. This is our AnyPine Studio. Go to File, New, then click Mule Project. So this is the pop up window to create the new application for Mule. So you have to give project name here I am going to give here hello world then you have to make sure the mule server the runtime environment server the version is latest or not here the mule server version is 3.7.3 enterprise edition this is the latest version now for mule USB then click finish button once you created Mule project for Hello World, the Hello World resource file will be opened by default. So I'm going to create Hello World workflow. First, I'm going to search HTTP connector from palette. Simply type HTTP. This is the HTTP connector. Just click and drag into your canvas. We need to configure the connector configurations. So go to this connector configurations. Click plus icon. By default host is 000. The port number is 8081. Then click OK. So the path is I am going to leave it as it is. So the allowed method is get, click the canvas. Now I am going to add the transformer to set the message. So set payload transformer. So click and drop into your canvas workflow. So I am going to set the value now. Hello world. So just to click the canvas. I want to see this output into our console also. Just search logger component. Add into your flow. If you want to see the message into your console, you have to set the payload here. Set the payload. The logger component. Then click the canvas then save it so I am going to run this application go to our project and right click go to run as then go to mule application you can see the console whether your application is de deployed successfully or not yes our application is deployed successfully go to browser Type localhost then 8081 you can see the output hello world also you can see the output in the console also this console in the logger component no the message and the payload message is logged into our console so without uh, redeploying our applications uh, I am going to show you how the messages are reflected uh, Mule USB itself 
they redeployed our application whatever we made the changes just click the set payload type the message welcome to mail studio block just click the canvas save it look on the console our application is redeploying yeah our application is redeployed now go to the browser reload now you can see the output also you can see output in the console also this is our first mail application using any file studio we have successfully created and deployed I, I have created a blog for this mail studio my blog name is mailstudio.blogspot.in or .com here I am posting list of ports about how to install ActiveMQ in your local machine how to configure with your mail flows then how to create a restful web service using mail studio you can go to here and also you can see the mules of champions program this is my blog you can go to here i will post uh, more articles in this blog thank you for visiting our video thank you see you bye